Welcome to Teens Make Squirrely Situations. My name is Sophia and I am the Teen Services Assistant at Landrum Library. Today I'm going to show you how to make a squirrel hoop art embroidery using the Squirrely Situations Pick Me Up Kit. See the video description to learn how you can request a Pick Me Up Kit of your own, available while supplies last. To complete this project you will have a linen square, an embroidery hoop, some medium brown embroidery floss, some dark brown embroidery floss, and a needle inside a needle case. First thing you want to do is set the linen over the inside circle of the hoop, and then place the outside circle over the linen and inside circle, and then you're going to press them together. For me personally, I like to outline the design that I'm going to embroider before I start stitching. So right here I'm just going to use a pen to lightly draw the design that I'm going to stitch. If you are not comfortable drawing freehand, we added a template you can use to trace your squirrel onto the center of your fabric before you secure it to the hoop. To thread your needle, you're going to need a pair of scissors. The first thing that you want to do is get the length of floss that you need to start your project. I usually recommend about an arm's length, and then you'll cut it, and you'll thread it right through the eye of the needle, and you want to make sure you get all six strands through the needle's eye. Once you have about three inches of length pulled through, you want to go to the end of your floss and tie a simple knot like so. Now it's time to start stitching. You want to bring your embroidery floss through the back of the hoop and make a single straight stitch. Next, we are going to use what is called back stitch, which is where you bring your needle through the hoop about a stitch length in front of your last stitch and then put it back through at the end of the last stitch, like so. And you're going to keep using the same back stitch for the entire outline of your squirrel. In order to make the squirrel's feet, you're still going to use the same exact back stitch, so you want to come at the end of your outline and bring it back into the last stitch that you made, like so. Finishing up right here, you just want to make the eye with a single stitch, and then you should have your basic squirrel outline. Now you're going to want to secure your thread at the back of the hoop. As you can see, you might have a few mistakes, but that's okay. No one's going to see the back. So what I want to do is cut off the excess of the tail, and then split the threads in about half, like three and three. And then I'm going to tie a simple basic knot. I usually do this about two times just to make sure it's really secure. Now we are about to start stitching the squirrel's tail. 
You will have to re-thread your embroidery floss, so make sure you tie a knot at the end of your floss to secure it. With the tail, we are still going to use the simple back stitch, and remember that this part does not have to be perfect. You just want to make a number of stitches going in multiple directions to give the impression that it is a bushy squirrel tail. After your last tail stitch, remember to cut and secure the thread at the back with a double knot. Now we are ready to finish the tail with the medium brown embroidery floss. You're going to use the same back stitch that you used with the dark brown embroidery floss and you're going to kind of create the same pattern that you were doing beforehand, just trying to make a bushy squirrel tail. Again, remember to cut and knot your thread in the back. Now we are ready to finish your embroidery hoop. You want to flip the hoop over and take a length of embroidery floss with a knot at the end, like so. And you're going to pull the needle through the back of the fabric, just like this. You're then going to pull the needle through the fabric again and pull the floss all the way through until you have it secured. And then you're going to put the needle into the fabric up and over, up and over to create a gathering effect. You want to make sure that when you are finishing this part, you want to pull the floss right through where you originally started to make sure it completes the circle. And then you're going to pull the embroidery floss all the way through and tighten it by pulling it as hard as you can. Then you are going to cut the excess floss and tie a simple knot the way we have been by separating the floss in half and tying a double knot. Once you have your knot tied, all that's left to do is to cut the excess fabric and tuck it in inside your hoop and voila, you are done. The inspiration for this design came out of this book where it will also give you their instructions. The title of this book is called Teeny Tiny Menagerie by Noriko Kamurata. Congratulations, you have created your very own squirrel hoop art embroidery. Don't forget to participate in summer reading to earn this awesome sling bag and sticker and be entered into weekly gift card drawings. Summer reading lasts until July 31st, so visit SpartanburgLibraries.org or any SCPL location to get started. Thanks for watching, and remember, we have virtual teen programs happening every Wednesday and Friday all summer long. Be sure to follow us at SCPL Teens on Instagram or Facebook to stay in the loop about programs, contests, and more.